Sally Segal, thank you for your time. Thank you. Can I ask you to respond to some of the points that the Attorney General made today? One is that the publication of anonymous allegations with the onus on him to then respond to them is not fair, ethical or just and that it is a break with journalistic convention. What do you say to that? Look, I don't agree that the onus should be on him. I think the Prime Minister should call for an independent investigation into these allegations by a retired prominent judge, for example, to really really ensure and, and find what is the case around these allegations so that then we can know whether there is in fact a case to answer by the Attorney General. We've heard the Prime Minister say that uh, he believes the Attorney General and therefore there's no need for an investigation. We've heard the Attorney, Attorney General's um, take on things today himself. Why do you think, having heard all of that, that an investigation is still warranted? Well, look, we know that the police investigation was hamstrung by the unfortunate circumstances in relation to the complainant. So the reality is this hasn't really been investigated. Um, and I think the public deserve to know. We're talking about a, the highest legal officer of the land, the Attorney General. We are law makers in Parliament and we have a very serious allegation here. The Prime Minister and the government need to be seen to be doing justice and to investigate and fully do a full and frank investigation of the situation. On the question of justice, not to verbal um, the Attorney General, but he, from his perspective, clearly feels that he is not receiving justice because one of his other points today was that being asked to explain himself undermines the rule of law and violates the principles on which our justice system is built. Uh, look, I, and I agree, I would really have liked to see an independent investigation prior to any public statement of the like that we saw today. Um, I really think we need to know what the case is, the full case, um, and it, the, an investigation would enable that. Um, unfortunately, it is a trial by media at the moment. It is in the public domain and it is an incredibly high-profile role that he, ha he holds. We the Australian people need to be satisfied that he is a fit and proper person to hold that office. Again, not to um, verbal him, but you know, in his absence, um, he is saying why it, it, it's a slippery slope kind of situation where you have um, an elected official who has to then respond to anonymous allegations or stand down and try, to attempt to, in his words, disprove them. Well, what we know from the private sector, it's not uncommon that if allegations are made in relation to executives or in the sporting world, um, that you it is common that people are stood down with pay pending an investigation so that they can clear their name. Actually, I was surprised that the Attorney General does not want an investigation so that he may clear his name if that uh, be the case. Um, as it stands, we are left with more questions than answers and I don't think that is what we need. We need the Prime Minister to step up. We're in a very serious conversation here. We have uh, the Australian of the Year, Grace Tame, making an incredibly powerful speech. We have people like Brittany Higgins coming out with very serious allegations. It is time for change. We need to deal with this differently. Another of Christian Porter's points today was that he said he had been treated differently to the former Federal Opposition Leader Bill Shorten when he uh, were, was a accused of um, an historic rape, um, which obviously the police decided to not proceed with. Do you think there is any fair comparison there? Well, look, I, I understand that there was a police, a more thorough police investigation in that case, so I don't think it's completely a, a relevant comparison. What I'm interested in is what's happening now. I don't want to do the political deflection. I would like to see change now. Uh, we have sex discrimination amendments that are possible. We need to ensure we have tougher laws for sexual harassment um, and we need transparency and integrity in our government. I think the Australian people deserve that. Mr Porter made it clear today that he had not um, seen the letter that went to the AFP. The Prime Minister said a couple of days ago also that he had not read it. Does that seem credible to you? Look, I have difficulties with that. Um, I must say I feel the Prime Minister is a letter addressed to him. He should be aware of its contents. He needs to be satisfied as the Prime Minister that his Attorney General is a fit and proper person. So allegations in that respect, I think it is relevant that he should read the, the letter. If an inquiry were to go ahead, what would its terms be? Look, I wouldn't want to see the terms of reference limited because I think it would need to be a broad investigation into the circumstances around the allegations that have been made. Very similar to the investigation that was done into former High Court Justice Hayden, uh, where very serious allegations were made. Sally Segal, thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.